Wicked killer Keller here, escalating through the grime world uh, and MCing in general. We got Loon inside the place. How are you, my brother? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you so much for passing Thanks through. Thanks for inviting me. How's it going at the moment? How's your life? How's the world? Everything's good, you know. I went to St. Lucia a week and a half ago, so it was like a good relax. Mm. Like even writing there, it was different than here. The one thing I noticed is people don't moan. <laughs> Yeah. London people moan. <laughs> so London. Yeah. So, but there was really nice. It, it gave me a chance to kind of organise what I've got coming forward and what I want to do. So I finished an EP. Nice. LP, EP, 14 tracks. I've got most of the stuff done. The only thing I'm left to do is maybe videos. Videos, wow. But once I got like three videos done, I think probably by middle of maybe October, mm. I'll put out an EP by then. How is videos for you? Difficult. Mm -mm. Because you don't really communicate with a lot of video people. And whereas I'm sometimes a lot busy, I think everyone knows how the spam folder and the messaging works out. They message you, you message back. You can't organise the time. The video man can't come. But the way I see it is, if it didn't work out then, it can only work out soon. So I'm not really rushed for that. The main thing is the music's done. Mm -hmm. Visuals can come. Yeah, that's right. So you need the product first, don't you? Yeah, you need the product before the thing. But I feel like... With this one, it's more of a journey, more in music, so people can kind of identify and I see it as if I didn't have you as a listener, one of the songs on the EP will be your favourite song. Mm, so it's dynamic, it's a diverse Yes, yeah. it's up and down, so it has old school sounding grime. I kind of made the EP with an old school sounding grime sound mm -hmm. with new school energy, because that's what people say, I sound like, so some songs are... You always put the one song in there that's a little bit different. You've got some soul grime in there, you've got old school grime, you've got radio grime, you've got kind of like all different types of grime. Mm -hmm. So for grime people, this is solely on grime, whereas now everyone, I think, is putting rap on grime mm. and making it work, whereas I tried to keep it so it sounds the grime we grew up on. Mm. Okay. Was, was the dynamics like that important for you on, on this release? Um... You know what it is? Every song I make is different. But with the approach to the EP, it's kind of like, I know I wanted to make it. So in the middle of doing features and singles, some songs sounded like they are for the EP. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is as I'm going through the songs, I'll just take each song and it just made the EP together. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, you never know how much is enough songs or when to stop, but I feel like this is good. And I added something that more CDs don't really have no more, intro. Intro. But the intro is more of, it's like every artist's inside voice. Mm. So you have that voice that tells you you can't do it or you don't feel good today. And the only like reassurance some people have is going on their social networks. Mm. Whereas everyone has that best friend. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your uncle, whether it's your sister, whether it's your mum, you don't notice. Mm. They're constantly helping you. That's what the intro is. My intro is... The person around me that talks to me about music, just one of. But his voice could be the voice that everyone else needs as an artist mm. and has that friend, but just don't. The only difference with mine is I have it as an intro. Almost like you're in a guardian angel. It's like part. you're in a voice, like, so, like, before you do anything, some people like to listen to inspirational quotes. Mm -hmm. This intro could maybe be an inspirational quote for someone that feels unsure of their self or nervous. Even though he's talking about me, it could reflect to anyone. That's so sick. Um, vocal dynamics. How important is it when you come with a project that has such a, uh, you know, it's not sticking to one lane, it's got a variety within the genre. You have to really work your uh, elasticity to that because, you know, you have, to, you have to hone your identity that means it's stamped on each style. You know what? You know what? I think the only thing with me is that I don't sound like no one. No, you I don't, don't sound like no one. I don't approach songs the way everyone else approach songs. Mm. I kind of found what um, I kind of feel like what works for me. So I just stick to what works for me and mm. tries to be good at that. I can do loads of other stuff, but I find that now, as an artist trying to find your mark in anything whether it's graffiti, mm. for instance. Mm. You might be good at words, mm. but want to do faces. 
mm -hmm. might be good at faces but can't do buildings. Mm -hmm. So there's always something. I can't roll my tongue. Mm -hmm. So I'm just good at words. That MC Neat style. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do it. <laughs> so I write with just words that I've been writing for so long and concentrating on writing, like reading music, fairy, loads of stuff that I just like writing. Mm. It doesn't matter how much you've how much you've written, how long you've been writing, you always find something new. So a handicap becomes a strength. Yeah. So you might not be good at maybe performing or doing something, but your writing is mm. good. Who's your influences, inside and outside of Graham? Mm. Mm. Who can I say my influences are? When I first started. I started listening to Jungle. Mm -hmm. I used to like Jungle. Mm -hmm. My cousin's uncle, Det, I was supposed to go on tour with him when I was little. That's when I was writing Jungle. But like I said, I've started loads of different music. So I started writing to Jungle. Then I started writing to Garage. Then I started writing to Grime. So I've gone through the rap, but my influences, but with Grime, probably like everyone's influences of Grime, like Wiley, D-Double, Everyone that we listen to, but I, cause I grew, I grew up listening to like, I don't even know the names of them, cause it's so far. I'm to, we're talking channel, tape, we're channel talking U era before of, Channel U. We're talking right. tape decks, right? We're talking tape deck when you used to have, you could only listen to it on tape mm -hmm. and you used to record that. I used from then, so for me, I'm more like writing. Mm -hmm. So now, you like a song, mm -hmm. you go on YouTube, you type in lyrics, the lyrics come up. You see, you read the lyrics now. Anyone that liked music and liked to try and repeat words, we all know what we used to do. Mm -hmm. So we start it, we stop it, we stop, we write it down on our paper, we start. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got used to doing. So I think doing that to try and learn people's lyrics got me used to writing. Mm -hmm. So I used to just look at the writing and read the writing and then kind of learn patterns and try to write. So oh, I've wow. gone through different stages of writing to the point now I feel like with most of the people that I listen to are strong writers. So people that concentrate on writers, like we've come the other day, like manga, mm -hmm. strong writing. Like Flow is trim, crazy. Trim. Tr again, trim. Writing. Wow. Like Rico, writing. Yeah. Rochi, they're writers. Yeah. I like writers. Like even the other ones, Chipmunk, Maxter. Mm. Everyone that writes, I like people that write music. So for me, I concentrated on just making songs that are, People used to say I put too much mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to kind of take out. You take out to leave more. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Less, less is more. It's what you leave on the table that's important. People say even that the simpler, simpler things are easier said. Mm -hmm. Like people make maybe a whole eight bars to say, could you give me space? Mm -hmm. I just say it in one line. So it saves me being able to... I can kind of paint a picture easier mm. with the way I write. That's interesting. Now, how do you how do you narrow down? I and mean, there's that that's method really. That's that's the ten thousand hours, right? How do you scale down something that is so to the point? I think people, even with the likes of Drake, you know, they underestimate the power of that method. But you know what it is. Remember when you're doing something that you're not sure of, you don't even know if you started till you finished. Mm. And you don't know if you finished when you started. Mm. So you could. St so even most people writing anything, we hear the song, we think of our concept, we have blank page. Mm. So anything we write down is an is an idea. Now, with writing, writing, I probably sound crazy, but Go to for people it. that write, there's a theory behind writing. So now everyone's got their phone. Mm. You write in your phone. I'm not sure what it is with your phone and your writing. It's not the same as writing with pen and paper. 100%. So last year, I went through the whole year of just writing in pen and paper. I didn't write in my phone. I didn't write on computer. I wrote every song in pen and paper. I don't know what it was, but I don't know if it helps you remember. I don't know if it helps you take in because you write it, it's messy. Yeah. You write it again on another piece of paper. Yeah. It might be messy. You write it again so many times, kind of like lines mm. in school. Mm. And I don't know if... The thing is, no artist really disclosed how they learn everything. Mm. Some people might say, I write the song, and then I rewrite that song 20 times to mm. learn it. Whether I learn it in sections, people don't know that. And that's one thing on 
online for anyone that's trying to do music you can't see these things you don't see studio sessions mm. you don't really see people right they show the magic yeah. they show you right the pen starts they and see then what goes on in the finished. background they don't show, they see the dinner they don't see how it's cooked everything finished you watch 20 you watch 24 hours in the life of someone you're only seeing three hours mm. so if you can see all the bad things it kind of helps anyone coming up being like okay he messed up as well but no one wants to mess up on camera yeah yeah, it's true. And how much would you have loved that as a young person to see the insights so that you know you're not crazy deep down, is it? you know you're not going mad on no, yourself? No, but that's the thing, you don't know if what you're doing is mad, but most people say, like, most people that are creative, you have that little thing that's always, you're never settled with something, so mm. you're going to constantly search for, mm. I don't know if it's your purpose. Mm. Whether you, so some people find it with music, I find, like, as artists, your graffiti and your stuff you do is your diary. Mm -hmm. As an artist, me writing is my is my audio diary. Mm -hmm. So I can see stages and where I've won. And at where, what you decide to disclose mm -hmm. in your art is the same as we disclose in writing. So I can see parts when I was stressed and when I wasn't in my music. Wow. So it's kind of like, it helps you. Yeah. It helps you method. I'm sure when you want to do something and you can't do it, you feel more stressed because mm. you've completed it but you can't show people yeah I feel like that with the EP kind of mm, yeah not quite settled and that actually that can also propel you forward as well that yeah. desire desire yeah because you've got rid of you've got over a hurdle but you can't kind of like what's the word what's the word I don't know if it's find solace or mm. what, there's, a, there's a word like yeah I know exactly what you mean you've dealt with that project like mm. you started it you finished because a yeah. lot of artists we start and never finish something. Mm -hmm. and so you look in books and see half-drawn pictures. You look at, you listen to audios, you hear half-finished songs. Mm. True. Even in the recording process, sometimes when you know you've messed up, keep going because you might find something at the tail end of what you're, you know, you're scanning as you're, at, you're spitting bars. You're going to come up with something that perhaps it didn't even... You know what someone told me? Someone told me, no one knows you mess up till you mess up. <laughs> so if you show someone you mess up, you don't know. Mm. So I was, I'm not, it, it's easy to understand, but it's still hard to get used to. Totally. Because you have to learn how to just improvise. So how's that fair in the uh, arena of pirate radio and live? Mm -hmm. You know, when you're up with your peers or you know you're deep in a cipher? You know what it is? Uh, I, for me, I feel like sometimes you either, you get in your own head hmm. and as artists, everyone has a little selfishness inside of them. So it's songs. Because mm. you only get a certain chance on some songs. You want that song. So if you don't get that song, some, that's the only thing with radio. But the thing I like with radio is it keeps you surprised because yeah. you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. So you have to kind of just keep moving forward. But it's, you can't plan it. Uh. You can't plan it, it's never the same, and I think that's what's good about it. So you never get the same experience. No, that's right. You could go radio every day in the week, and Monday you might have felt you messed up, but then Tuesday you just switch on. And sometimes it's your body. You don't have a break as artists, mm. but you don't realise that. So sometimes it takes for you to mess up. It's like go going to the gym. To go and practice. It's like going to the gym. Yeah, if you don't practice, you're going to go and mess up. So mm. it happens, but I think with radio, it's good. It allows people to network, socialise, and with most creative people, you just want to be in your own little... You want to be in a place where everyone's the same as you. Mm. And it's where to explain it, but you could just talk about writing mm -hmm. for hours and people don't understand it because they don't write. So it's like your own little world. Mm. So it's only a minority of people that really take it... Well, not really take it serious. You're kind of like... You're addicted to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're addicted to it, innit? Because you find yeah. something, in it. You're addicted to it. Do you think the addiction comes through that that moment of zen when everything... This is just me you know, conveying what I would imagine is happening in real time when you're surrounded, you're in, you're in the octagon, you're doing it, and you have those moments where you're completely enchanted with the moment and you're that level of zen and you're f full flow. And then also you come away from it like, oh, you guys still here? That kind of... No, you go into, you do go into your own bubble. So sometimes you forget that people are around, but what you have to remember is every... When it comes to you, that's your time. Mm. So, like, with me, 
if anyone really watch it, watches the sets. I don't really pay attention to everyone else. I'll just you concentrate really do. You on... Just zone. I just concentrate on the... So even when I came, they were saying, yeah. oh, you don't look around in that because sometimes I'm just thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking like, oh, what do I want to show? What do I... And because that's the problem with me. Well, I'm constantly writing. I used to be like, you can't show people some things. Mm. You have to keep some things to yourself and mm. not show people, but then you start to realise that all music you're making is to show people. Mm. So it doesn't matter when and how someone sh sees it, you just want to be able to show it to someone. So you might mess up showing someone, not really say your best song, but something you like at this moment mm. and show them something else that you think, you know, they'll probably... I can't decide on what genre of music you like mm -hmm. as an artist, and now I just show people everything. Mm. Yeah, you're a... Uh, an artisan of the field. Yeah, I think something like that, because someone would be like, you probably like old school. I don't have a clue what you mm -hmm. like. Me, I listen to anything. Mm -hmm. If I like it, La Rouge, anything. Really? Wow. Anything, grime, anything. It doesn't matter, jungle, soul rap, jazz, reggae, doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me. If I like the music, I like writing, so every music has a mood. And all genres connect these days, don't and they? It, and every music has a mood. So grime is not every mood. Mm. You're not going to listen to grime or like people are not getting married on grime. No, no, So no. you do want to have something like, I think more, even most artists, you probably want to have like, try and make a Christmas song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A birthday song. Something for everyone. Yeah, something for everyone. So if I can, if I can try and do something, I'm going to try and do as much as I can to the why I have the voice. Sick. When's the project come out? I'm not sure yet. The only problem is because I want, I want to do everything properly this time. I don't want to rush nothing. So that's the, I say middle of October, but I don't know until everything's properly done. I feel like people are pressured by not doing, not pitting out stuff. Like maybe for the year, I don't think I've released a single yet. Done a lot of features and stuff, but not released a single. But I think as an artist, you get in your own head. Mm -hmm. I'm not released. I think it's like I'm not doing nothing. But pressure keeps. I've, you. I've decided that it has to be finished properly before I give it to anyone. Because if I was to stop music now and people ask, would you be happy with what you put out? I'm happy once I'm happy with it. Mm, mm. I'm not happy because I've just done music. I'm happy if it's shown the way and other people like it because it's not really for me. Well, if your live performance or anything go by, the world ain't ready for the impact of Loon. No, it's not, it's not, my music's not really for me, it's for everyone else. So. But it's good to have, it's good to hear people's opinion because it can only make you better, good yeah, or yeah. bad. So, my brother, thank you so much for joining us. No problem, man. <laughs> Anytime, man. Loon in the place. <laughs>